Hi guys, how are you? It's been such a long time since I, we've seen each other and you've seen me. Um, so today what I'm going to do is a very natural look on my face. My moisturizer. So I'm just going to moisturize my face. And I, um, I always say that you should really do this step. I don't know. I have really dry skin, but if you have really um, oily skin, this might not be the best for you. I don't know. But if you have dry skin, just try to moisturize first. That's what I try to do. And I don't know, it just helps my foundation to look sheer and not as cakey. I don't like cakey foundation or pasty. Um, okay, so now I'm going to be using this. I'm going to be using the green one, which uh, counteracts the redness. So I'm just going to get some with my finger and then just put some around my nose like so then I'm gonna use this like peachy color yeah this one right here for like under my eyes so just a little right here right here just pat it on your eye you can use a concealer brush too Okay, and then um, now I'm going to go on to my um, makeup, and this is Renergy Lift from Lancome. I really like this makeup because it's not too heavy and it's not too sheer. So I'm just going to do like a pump right here. Not a big one because, okay, just put a little on each of the cheeks. And then I'm going to get... Um, my 109 brush and I am just gonna rub it in this brush sheds quite a bit but it is a really good brush and that's why I use it I'm not wearing too much foundation I'm sorry I'm looking this way I'm just looking at the mirror <laughs> There we go. I've done my foundation. Hair right here. Okay. So that's my foundation right there. I tried to just do a really light coat. Um, okay. And then now I'm going to be using um, Urban Decay's Primer Potion and Sin. So I'm just going to take it out just like so. It's a very nice like champagne-y color um, and you'll see it on my lid in a, in a bit. I'm just going to put some on my lid like that and I'll just spread it out with my finger. Put the remaining on the other eye. Just put some more right here. There we go. It's a really like neutral champagne color. I don't know if you can see it on my lids. But yeah. Okay. Um, now I'm going to be using um, Satin Taupe from MAC. Um, let me show you the color. It's this one, I'm sorry, it's just this one right here. Okay, I think I dropped something. Okay, I'm going to get a MAC 217 and just dip it in that color. And then start blending it out in the crease. Just a light coat. It does not have to be something, um, doesn't have to be a lot because you want it to look natural. Okay. So I'm just going to be using a little. If you want to make um, 
the crease stand out more, then uh, you can use an, a black eyeliner and then draw your outer V and then just um, blend out the color. Uh, that's what you can do to make it a lot more uh, vibrant and darker. Okay, so that's what I did right now. Um, so now we're going to use um, this one, NYX and highlight. So right there it is. Um, and I'm just going to use it with the MAC, uh, what is it, 239 brush. So I'm just going to use that as a highlight up here. We'll see how it looks. So just for the top part. I'm going to do the same to the other eye. There we go. Okay. Okay. Um, now I'm going to be using uh, Max Eyeliner in Teddy. So this is the eyeliner right here. It's just um, a brown, uh, like a brown shimmery color. Okay, so I'm just like going to bring it right here, just on the outer corner of the eye. There we go. I just tend to do just a little flick right here. So, I'm do the same to the other eye. There we go. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put some, some uh, eyeliner on the bottom of my eye too. Now, um, I'm just going to go on with this Stila Contour um, Palette. I'm just going to take some of the, some of this powder just to set my foundation a little. There we go. And then I will use a little bronzer with the MAC 138. I think it's a 138. Okay. So, just a little, just to sculpt my face a little. Right here. Okay. Just right here. This is a great brush. Um, I use it a lot for bronzer. You can also use it for foundation. Um, some bronzer. Okay, so we're done. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some mascara. And I have um, L'Oreal Voluminous, just in black. So. I'm just going to crimp my lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've crimped my lashes, and um, I put on my mascara, and now um, I'm going to be using NARS Multiple in Orgasm, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to apply a little on the brush, and I'm just going to put it right here. This already has a shimmer. Just put, swipe it right here. This already has some shimmer, so I'm not going to add extra shimmer to my cheeks. You can also apply it directly to your skin. I do it both ways. There we go. Okay, and now for the finishing touch, the lipstick. I'm not going to wear any um, lip gloss today. You can do it if you'd like. But now um, I'm going to use this MAC lipstick. It's a MAC lipstick, um, and I'm just barely opening it. I'm sorry, you guys, I can't take it out. Um, this is in the color, it's a cream sheen. 
and the color is ravishing. So it's like a coral color. So I really like this this color. This is the finishing, the finished look. So it's very neutral. It's just like for work or going out to the beach or, you know, picnic or whatever. Uh, it's very neutral daytime look for school. You can use it too. So yeah, this is the finished look. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and please stay tuned for more looks. Bye.